This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller back for another service management leadership video. So this one is going to be on IT asset management. So IT asset, IT asset management, easy for me to say, isn't it? Is less ITIL and more service management. Many companies have it split off of the ITIL version of SACM, service asset and configuration management. In the ITAM, those assets covered in the IT asset management are kept in an ERP system like SAP, Oracle, PeopleSoft, something like that. You'll know if it's included in the SACM process, process because those assets will be kept in the ITSM tool and tracked in there and the attributes kept in the ITSM tool. If it's in the ERP tool, you'll know because that's where everybody will sit. They'll say, go look in SAP for that asset. And so you'll know that it's more of the IT asset management than the SACM process. So what is IT asset management? Great question. Thanks for asking. So IT asset management looks at how the life cycle of that asset from how do we acquire it? What permissions, approvals, authorization do we need to acquire it? How do we implement that asset? How do we track that asset? And then how do we dispose of that asset? Sounds easy, right? Well, let me tell you a story from a recent consulting assignment. This is a large, large uh, company organization. I don't want to give it away, but they lost track of their assets. And that sounds crazy. I know, but they did. So somebody would call the, the service desk and they'd say, I need this asset moved from location A to location Q. Okay, but nobody, they did not have a process for keeping the attributes of that asset up to date. Nobody updated that asset. So the person who was responsible for IT asset management and even asset management as a whole for that organization was very frustrated because he was like, I don't know where my stuff is. Nobody did, other than going back and looking at those service desk tickets, the service requests, and piecing those backwards. Think how crazy that is and how hard that is. Just because they did not want to, or did not have a process in the design phase of how are we going to keep track of these assets. Because a good sized organization is going to have thousands and tens of thousands. You need a process. For much of my adult working life, I owned, coned a IT asset management corporation that managed the technology services for large, large, some of the biggest in this country, their assets, whether it was the, the in-house technology or the replacement, managing the life cycle as a, just overall. And so this is right in my wheelhouse and I hope to have some more videos that follow up and go into more detail very soon about IT asset management. But I want to introduce the topic and talk about how it's different than the ITIL nerds, like myself, consider SACM the service asset and configuration management. So this is just introducing uh, the idea and I hope to have another one very soon. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller with Service Management Leadership. Please like or share this video, subscribe to my channel, give me some feedback. I look forward to hearing from you and thank you for watching. Have a great day.